Here we have um, graphing a square root function problem type two. So same thing as before, take what's inside and set it greater than or equal to zero. Um, there's nothing to solve there. So my point, starting point is gonna be zero. And I'm gonna pick x values that are greater than zero. So one, two, and three. And then I'm just gonna plug them into that function. So two square root of zero, get out of there, plus three, get three. Two square root of one, get out of there, plus three, I get five. Two square root of two plus three, it stays looking like two square root of two plus three. But for me, graphing it on paper, I wanna know what that is as a decimal. And then um, two square root of three plus three stays exactly the same, two square root of three plus three. For me, it's about 6.5. And this might even be important for you too, so that when you do try to type it in the computer, you'll know whether or not it put the point in the correct spot, right? So we have one, two, three. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we've got zero and three, which you could probably draw on your own. 1 and 5, which again, you could probably plot on your own. If not, you can use that plotting tool, the one that looks like this, and type in 0, 3, and it'll plot it there for you. Type in 1, 5, it'll plot that one there for you. Type in 2 and this value, and it will plot the point 5.8 for you. Type in three and this value, and it will plot the point z um, three and 6.5 for you. And then if you hit the graphing function, it will draw the curve for you as well. Now, yours will look a little bit more perfect because the computer's drawing it. Uh, me, I'm drawing it and I'm not drawing it on graphing paper, so it's a little, my dots are a little off. But your curve should look somewhat like this inside Alex. So for the next one, it's the same thing. Take what is inside the radical and set that greater than or equal to zero. This one I do actually have to solve. So I get x is greater than or equal to negative two. So then I have negative two and then values bigger than that would be negative one, zero, and positive one. And so then I plug these in. I'm gonna get um, six, here I'm going to get seven, here I'm going to get the square root of two plus six, and here I'm gonna get the square root of three plus six. So for these two, I do need decimals so that I can graph them on my paper. So let me get those decimals real quick. This would be about 7.4. And this would be about 7.7. .7. So if I'm going to graph this on my paper, we have negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So let's plot negative 2 and 6. So that's here negative one and seven, zero and 7.4, and then one and 7.7. .7. So then you notice it's looking like this. Now again, I'm not fantastic at drawing this, especially without graph paper, but you get the idea, okay? Your um, graph should be up here in this region when you see it in Alex.